Dr. Mina Singh. Did I say it right, Dr. Mina? Yes, you did. (laughs) Good morning. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Medical director of the KMC Hair Center, specializing in treating ethnic skin and hair. Her passion is treating and restoring disfiguring scar forms of hair loss seen exclusively in patients of African descent. That's right. (laughs) And we're going to talk about eyebrows, eyebrow hair loss this morning or thinning. Uh, (laughs) uh, Megan Good admitted to getting an eyebrow transplant due to overplucking. Overplucking wow. her full eyebrows, uh, and she said she had been doing this since a teenager, and she needed a a, a transplant, eyebrow transplants. Who knew? Right, <laughs> what the fuck was going on there? <laughs> but it you only didn't... makes sense, Doc, if you have a hair transplants on on your head. Then why not on your face? That's right. We can put really hair anywhere. <laughs> I need something Tom? like this. <laughs> Anywhere. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So, how does this work when you transplant? Is this the same as you do when you when when you do a bald head, huh? When you yeah, that's exactly right. Yes. Yeah, so, eyebrow transplants are actually really rewarding because most people don't need that many hairs to replace the look that they're wanting to achieve. And so, basically, we have. We work with the patient to create a design that they're happy with, and we just remove surgically the hair-bearing skin from the back of the scalp. Uh Then we create these tiny little holes in the areas that we have designed where we intend to place the grafts. Then we very meticulously place the grafts into those holes. And the one thing is the eyebrows will then grow like your scalp hairs. Okay, so your scalp hair, especially, you know, in people of African descent, it's going to be curly. So you have to trim and groom those hairs every two weeks. So it's not like you get, you know, your eyebrows back and then you can just relax. Uh It's very similar to having to, you know, groom and trim very regularly for them to look natural. And where do you draft the eyebrows from? The the back of the scalp. The back of the scalp. Yeah, so there's scalp hairs placed on the eyebrows. And, And how long of a process is this? So it usually it takes several hours. You have to extract the hairs. Sometimes that can take 30 minutes to an hour, uh, depending on the technique used. And then you have to, you know, numb the patient up and um, place, make the incisions. The incisions are done really meticulously, and it's, you know, an area that's by your eyes. So you can't go that fast. So it will take an hour or so to make the incisions, and then you have to place them. And so that takes about an hour as well. So your okay. article on BlackAmericaWeb.com says that uh, eyebrow hair loss could be a sign of some other of some other things that are going on with you. Yes, that's right. Yes. So sometimes, interestingly, eyebrow hair loss specifically can be a sign for other systemic issues. So sometimes you can see a patient, for example, that has lost the outer aspects of their eyebrows. So that would be the the ones closest to the side of the face where you've re- remained in, and you've kept the inside of the part that's closest to the, the, the nose, basically, and the outer aspects have been lost. That's more common for a sign of low thyroid. Hmm. Um, if you have a thyroid abnormality, and specifically low, low thyroid, that can affect uh, your metabolism and protein synthesis, and that's why that can be a sign of um, low thyroid. So that's interesting that, you know, just looking at someone's eyebrows, you can tell maybe what's going on internally. Wow. Do you do also, tattooing? Do you do that? I don't, pers- I don't personally do it, but I recommend it for some people you the, do. the issue with ta- well yeah so the issue with tattooing is that it's very long lasting and may be close to permanent um and so you want to make sure you're doing it strategically and not too heavy-handed because you don't want someone's eye drawn to your eyebrow the whole point is that no one's really paying attention to your eyebrows it just complements your face and um, tattooing is better for filling in and reinforcing the existing shape Mm-hmm. As opposed to creating a brand new eyebrow, like See, if you're trying to do that. Um, sorry, go ahead. No, but I'm an actor. And I've always had like light eyebrows, right? And the, the makeup artists always have to color mine in because they never show up on camera. <laughs> okay. Is 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 this something? And I know you're in Kansas City. Um, which I'll be this weekend, so maybe I'll come in and see you. Oh, fun, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so is it? Is this? Maybe you can take a look at mine and see what I can do because. They have to color mine in every time I'm on camera. And I'm like, 
That's crazy. Right. So it depends on like what you're trying to achieve. So if they don't bother you at all and it's just something that when you're on camera, you know, you want to make it easier for them, you could do something called microblading. So microblading is semi-permanent and it's a kind of a hand drawing technique where they mimic the brow hairs. And it's nice for someone like yourself because, um, well, first of all, it's less painful than tattooing and it could look more natural. And so it's not going to draw the eye as much. And if you're not satisfied with it, sometimes it can fade after about six months. A lot of them will last longer than that, over a year. But if, you know, if you're not happy with how it looks, it will fade over time. So that one actually needs to be repeated. And the big question is, the big question is, how much does a transplant cost? Okay, well, the transplant, that will cost several thousand dollars. That's expensive. But those hairs are permanent. So you will always have those hairs. And can insurance cover that? It no, cosmetic? it's considered cosmetic, yeah. so most insurance won't cover it, even if it's due to, like, a burn or, you know, some kind of trauma. Uh-huh. Um, it, you, uh, there are ways to get it donated to certain societies, but insurance wouldn't cover it. But if, if you're taking the hair from my scalp and putting it on my eyebrows, my hair on my scalp is a little kinkier than the hair, hair on my eyebrows. That's not exactly. really strange. Right, so you have to make sure you go to someone that's familiar with how to do curly hair. And like I mentioned, you have to train those hairs and trim them and groom them every two weeks so they look natural. Wow. When you see Anthony Davis, the basketball player for now the <laughs> Los Angeles Lakers, basketball. do you get excited? Oh, you've seen him. <laughs> they, they, call, they call him the mono brow. He has brow. a unibrow. He has a unibrow. Oh, okay. Well, you give me more detail. Um, do I get excited? <laughs> <laughs> Google you know, Anthony Davis, Lake, love, Los Angeles you know, Lakers. My daughter you has a nice unibrow, so I probably would love him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Angry Bird. All right. All right, uh, questions for Dr. Mina Singh. If you have a question about eyebrows and thinning, at 646464. Thank you, doctor. And, You're uh, welcome. Thanks for having me.